I need a new intro because I'd be like, hi, you guys. Hey, you guys. Like, I need a new, like, intro. Maybe I do a little song, a little a little rap or something. I don't know. But this intro be corny. Like, hey, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Hi. I don't really. Ooh. I don't really like that. Hey, there she go. There she go. That's the one I got to know. Hi, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to drop like three, two more videos after this because, y'all, I haven't recorded a vlog since I think like Christmas. I haven't dropped the video since Christmas. It's been like three weeks now. I will be dropping another story time. I think two story times and I'm about to give you a quick tutorial because I see a lot of common mistakes done with faux locks and one of them being that they're being put in way too tight. I feel like my lash is loose. It is. Ah. Not me fixing it in the middle of a video. I want to give y'all a quick, a quick, just a little bit of advice on how to fix this mistake. It's not really that hard, but to loosen it up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. Let me show you what we need. You don't need much for faux locks. I'm gonna do um, the butterfly lock. I'm gonna use this pack of hair that was in my closet. This is the Afro Sins water wave we're gonna do that you're gonna need your shining jam my favorite braiding gel i'm gonna use a crochet hook just some butterfly clips and comb for parting so let's go ahead and get into this video my homegirl jasmine she's my model for today you feel me she um got some pretty messed up eyebrows because she was made this way and ain't nobody care for her. But girl, I'm still gonna slay her. These some knotless braids. I had did this tutorial on TikTok. If you don't find me on TikTok already, just go ahead. It's Lady with the Tattoos, of course, on all platforms, thank you. She has a lot of hair, basically. So if you bald headed for real, like me, is this okay? We bald headed in life. This is the most commonly done mistake right here. You'll sit here, you take your section of hair, you do something ridiculous like this darn rubber band technique, which I'm sick of the rubber band technique. I don't care if you soak the rubber band in 12 pounds of oil, stop putting rubber bands on your hair, for real. But you'll sit there and you'll take this the base of your hair and you'll do this tight old plait, like, boom. You try and make sure that plait nice and secure. You got it real tight at the base. And you'll sit here and stuff this hair through this tight old base that you created, right? So your base is already tight. Your plait is already tight as hell. In the summer, of course, like if you have shorter hair, you're using um, braiding hair on top of that. So you're making this plait with braiding hair. And then what you sit and do is you make the tightest plait. You wrap it at the base real tight. Now the plait is already tight. And then you wrap a tight old, you ravel some hair real tight at the base. So when you're doing something like this, creating something like this, just a little messy because it's just a little demo. This is way too much tension. And that's why y'all start having headaches. Like you shouldn't have to have headaches when you got braids in your head. It's too tight, it's too much tension. It will pull your hair out, especially your edges because that is the most delicate part. So let me show you how you fix this little minor mistake that a lot of people do. Before you put your braid in, you're gonna put in your shining jam like you normally do. 
But instead of starting so tight on the scalp, pull back a little bit, okay? Pull back just a little bit. Don't start directly on the scalp. Pull back a little bit and start back here. Even if you add braiding hair, put it in loose, okay? See all that extra space I got up in there? This part right here? Make it real loose. What did you do? <laughs> now you take your hair and you stretch it out. When you put that hair in, you slide it in. It's literally so much like space right there that it's not gonna be too tight when you start wrapping. And now you can do everything the way you regularly do. And it's still gonna be secure y'all. It's not gonna be loose, don't be scared. As you can see, this one's really tight. It's a little stiff right here. It's way too much tension. This one, because I gave it a little space, is not pulling so much and it's not causing so much damage. So I just wanted to give that quick little tip because I see it done a lot and it needs to stop because <laughs> This style is very popular, the boho locks, the messy locks, the regular faux locks, and I just feel like it's too tight. I can see when it's pulling on your scalp, and then some of y'all look like y'all got damn near like 10 packs in y'all head. What's going on? But yeah, if you do do your own, try this technique and let me know how it has definitely helped or changed. Leave your comments down below. I'm telling you, you will not have a headache doing this technique and this one you could possibly go bald so yeah say bye jasmine bye girl all right y'all i'll see y'all my next video bye